Hello everyone and welcome to another lecture of PHP and MySQL. Let's continue with variables. So as in JavaScript, variables will store any value you want or data in PHP. So you can store uh, some different types of data like a text, a string, a numbers, and a few other complex data as well. So in PHP, you have different types of values you can store in a variable. I'm going to type the different types in here, in your file, inside the comment section. So we have the Boolean, true or false, integer, which are numbers, floating point, which are decimals, strings, text characters. Then we have arrays and objects. And as we learn in JavaScript, the null means um, that has no value at all, okay? So these are often called also different data types of, um, of PHP. And these are the values that you can store in a variable in PHP. So in order to create your first PHP variable, and every time you need to create a PHP variable to store any value, you just type the dollar symbol and then you give any name you want to the variable so let's call it uh, name and then equals and double quotes and let's type hi my name is Victor let's save this make sure you save this in your htdocs folder now, make sure also you have the XAM control panel, Apache and MySQL running. Now, let's run this in the browser. Let's open the browser and let's go to localhost, hello.php, enter. And we don't have nothing. We have the code from the last video. So let's take this out of here. Let's save this. Now, to output the value stored on the variable, you just type echo and the variable and semicolon. Okay, save this. Pretty similar to JavaScript. And let's refresh, and there it is. Hi, my name is Victor. Okay. The only difference from JavaScript is that in JavaScript, you should use the var and then the name of the variable. And in PHP, you just have to type, to declare a variable, you just have to type the dollar symbol and the name of the variable, okay? So let's call this, instead of name, let's call this Victor. And here, let's call this Victor. And now you can echo something like, hi, my name is and now in javascript to concatenate we used the plus symbol but in php we use the dot symbol okay that's the only difference so in here you just type victor which is the variable and then again dot space and you can type here let's say Let's say the exclamation point. Hi, my name is Victor. Okay. Instead of Victor, let's call this name. It's a little bit confusing. So let's put here name. Okay. Save it. And let's uh, open the browser. Let's say, and there it is. Okay. Hi, my name is Victor. So now you know how to create variables in PHP and basically how to concatenate as well okay and it's pretty pretty simple if you already learned javascript and you should know javascript already um, this is going to be very easy to understand so this is it and see you guys in the next lecture bye